first step is to remove one of the subconnector patches. You'll want to remove the gray subconnector patch, like this. This gray subconnector patch, you'll notice it has red wire. Using a pen, pop this off, slide this out, and now you'll want to put the factory subconnector back in. Put this back in, plug it back in. In essence, what we have here is a three-quarter installed proceed. The next step is to confirm that the car starts. Perfect. Now we'll move on to the next step. The next step is to actually modify two wire locations in this gray subconnector loop. The next step is to locate two wires in particular. To do that, we want to look at the numbers on the flat subconnector, not the subconnector with the male pins pointing out of it. We want to locate pin number one here and pin number 14 here. You will notice that both these wires are on opposite sides of each other on the end of the subconnector. You will also notice that both these wires have a wire tapped into it. Pin number 14 has a blue wire with a white stripe. Pin number 1 has a green wire with a white stripe. These are the CAN bus wires. To activate this harness, we need to switch the location of these two red wires with each other. For that, we need to extract all four sides of these two wires and swap locations. You can use a pen for this. Also, please be very careful of these pins. When extracting them, do not apply any force whatsoever. They should slide out very freely once this retaining pin is pressed with your pen or your pick or whatever sharp device you have. Also, be sure to pull them straight out, not at an angle. You do not want to bend these terminals because it would have to be replaced, which would be a real big pain in the butt for you. Next step, putting these two wire sections back in to the right place. The wire section with the blue and white stripe needs to go into pin number one on this flat subconnector. There. On the other side, you'll notice that it's actually pin number 14. That's because the subconnectors are mirror images of each other. So once again, on the flat side, the blue wire tap goes into pin number one. On the pointy side, <laughs> the blue wire tap goes into pin number 14. This one's left should be pretty self-explanatory. On the green wire with white stripe, goes into pin number 14 on the flat side. On the pointy side, goes into pin number one. And that's it. Next, you'll need to update to the CAN bus enabled firmware. Be sure to update to this firmware before reinstalling this gray loom. Once the firmware is updated, turn off the ignition, wait 30 seconds until the ECU powers down, and then reinstall this gray loom. And that concludes the installation portion of this instruction.